Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to talk to you about the age-old problem of Netflix and chill. Alright, so for all you people that got your mind in the gutters, I'm not talking about Netflix and chilling. I'm just talking about Netflix and chilling. You know what I'm saying? Sitting back, ordering a large pizza, drinking a two liter of Mountain Dew by yourself, and passing the time with some good old TV shows. Now let's talk about some good shows to pass the time. And I'm not talking about, you know, the shows that everybody watches. Parks and Rec, The Office, The Walking Dead. Uh, I mean, it, the list kind of goes on and on. But yeah, so I'm going to talk to you. I think I got a couple, couple good recommendations for you today. Um, some stuff that you can watch. So the first show that I like to watch that's pretty good. Um, it's kind of like the first episode, like, kind of just like throws you straight into the action, really. Uh, the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Uh, I laugh so hard when I'm watching that show, and most of the time, I don't even really know why. Alright, and the second show I love watching, and this is one that you can really jump into at any time in the series, because there's really not, like, I mean, there's an overall storyline that it follows, but there's not, like, one strict follow- it's not like The Walking Dead, you know what I'm saying? Like, where you gotta be watching every episode to know what's going on. And that is Arrested Development. Now, this show has uh, one of my favorite actors in it, Michael Sarah. Um, it also has a it has a bunch of different people in it. Um, a bunch of different people. Every show has a bunch of different people in it. I can't. I, I don't want to give away too much because you got to go watch it and then tell me if I was right. Isn't that the whole purpose of this? The third show that I'm going to recommend is one that there's a lot of seasons to it and there's a lot of episodes available. So if you like it, then you're not going to have a problem finding anything to watch for the foreseeable future. Um, and that is Psych. Now, this show, it, like, it, it didn't, it wasn't my favorite at first. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't my favorite at first. But as, as it moved on and the characters progressed, I kind of started to understand the, the humor in each character. And it, it was, it's pretty funny. It's kind of a good crossover if you're into shows like Criminal Minds and that type of stuff. Because there is that certain aspect of crime solving. And the very last show, people think... That this show, I don't know, everyone who I've told that, like, I like this show, they're like, oh, dude, that's, like, a show for girls. And I'm like, I didn't know that you, like, had to have a sex to watch a show. But anyways, um, anyways, New Girl. New Girl is super funny. Um, every episode is just filled with something that, it, oh, like, I'm literally laughing out loud at the TV over something... Like, I don't know, I feel like if someone walked in in my room and I like I, they watched me watching New Girl, they'd be like, you should probably call the psych ward on this guy because uh, he's got some problems up in the head. Like, I'll, be, I'll just be like, at some points in time I'll actually pause the episode because I'm laughing so hard that I don't really want to get carried away and miss the episode. So that's all I got for today. If you have any suggestions of things that I should watch on Netflix, make sure you leave those down there in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Or just tweet them at me. Uh, you know, all that stuff is gonna be probably like along here right now. No, I'm just kidding, it, it was probably already there. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, we post videos once a week, uh, blah, 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 blah.